demo is doing. So what we are demonstrating here is a database application where if you're doing an image image query on Google or on Bing, um, it goes back to a server farm, a Google server farm that uses GPUs to process that query and then show you, uh, you know, multiple images that you asked for. Uh, this is a very power expensive, you know, server farm. So instead, the idea is to be able to replace all of those power hungry GPUs and CPUs with these boards here, these Xilinx, uh, these boards with Xilinx FPGAs um, that can process these queries at similar uh, uh, you know, speeds while consuming a lot less power. So we are able to... With, with your IP? With our, yeah, the, the, the FPGAs have our own uh, hardware IP, Terity IP, Terity Arch and the NNX architecture, um, which is uh, about three to five times better in terms of performance per watt than general purpose systems like GPUs and CPUs available out there. Um, here you have a demo where you can see that an image yeah. that is taken so from this camera is sent to this uh, okay, well the, CPU here, uh, which sends it over the PCIe link the to the FPGA, which processes the image and sends back the results. Currently, we are showing two uh, possible categories. One is a person, the other is a hand. You can do multiple in the same image as well. So it's all working in concert. And the beauty of the system. Okay. We can scale up to more than 40 categories, 40 different categories while keeping the same performance. Okay, and this IP at the moment is running in what kind of a chip? It's currently running on an F on a Kintex FPGA, the same kind of FPGA that's on the Zinc 7045. Uh, we have a Pico computing platform that has the FPGA on.